What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're talking about the base 64 conversion function. So, what is base 64? Base 64 is a way to convert a string into base 64 format. So base 64 is a way to encode binary to text data and, sh and visualize that as ASCII. Now, all those things kind of sound quite complex. So I'm not going to go into detail about what each one of those are, but it basically converts whatever text we're inputting it into, into a base 64 format. Now then this can be used to either store the data or put it somewhere or you know use for another another function that requires base 64. So let's take a look at it today. So in here I've got my manual trigger flow in Power Automate. Uh, I've got a text input and a number input. Um, this function is only a text input um, is text input only. It does not work with uh, a number fun uh, number function so we're just going to use the text one up here. And then I've got a compose action. So my compose action, I'm going to go down to expression, and then I will scroll down until we get to conversion functions. We'll click see more, and we've got base 64 here. And the base 64 says returns the base 64 representation of the input string. So that's what it's doing. It is going to take the string that we are inputting, it's going to output it in a base 64 format, or the base 64 representation as ASCII. So we'll click base 64, then we'll go back to dynamic content and we'll choose the input from my dynamic content and we'll click OK. And it updates there. Great. So we will test this out. I'll perform the trigger action and in the input I'll put I have a bad feeling about this because I watched Star Wars recently and quite enjoyed it. And we'll click run the flow, click done. So we can see the input coming in or the output coming out of the um, the manual trigger input is I have a bad feeling about this. And we can see the compose action is this. So this is the base 64 representation of that text that I've put in here. So this this is how it would look if this was encoded in base64. Base64 is a kind of a common uh, language to kind of store data in. So this is why this might be useful. Um, I don't have any particular use cases for this. Um, there's not a lot of things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that use base64 anymore. Um, most of my stuff uses JSON or XML, so because I come from a dynamics world. But I would really be interested in finding out uh, how many people use this function. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to hit me up on the social medias. I uh, always like to hear from people watching my videos or have any questions. And I'll see you next time.